guys uh, today uh, I'm just going to show you uh, how to replace uh, the oil housing the cooler uh, the, the, uh, the oil housing uh, seal so this is Mercedes is a is an E-class so for starters guys uh, you just take out the cover the front cover right here you just pull aside and then here uh, we see the uh, the front part of the engine so guys, this is the guy we're going to do. We're going to change the oil housing. Is a seal. This seal is just back in there. So to begin the process, guys, uh, make sure you have something uh, below to cut the fluid because we're going to remove this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, coolant hose. And then we have to remove it from here. We have to be careful not to uh, mess it because most of the time this one is so brittle. It normally uh, goes. Uh, can snap and then can let it cool on leak so for now guys we have to take this guy out and then uh, maybe we take it from here too to give us uh, enough access and then from there guys uh, we have to uh, release the uh, the bell tension right there so that uh, we have access uh, to the balls on the side and then once we do that guys uh, I'll show you what's the next stage. So I'm gonna remove this guy right here, and then that guy right there, and then uh, have access, remove the belt, and then from there I'm gonna show you the next stage of uh, removing uh, this uh, oil housing. All right, guys. Uh, another thing I forgot. So right here, guys, uh, this uh, this thermostat it has to come out because we have one ball right there. If you look careful right there in that ball right there so uh, to access it we have to take out the thermostat so guys also be ready to buy the thermostat uh, a seal a seal for the thermostat because once you replace it you want to have something new to put in there so it doesn't maybe the one which is there is already messy or stuff so once you decide to do this project guys make sure you have this uh, the seal for this and then for the seal for this together so one is going to be inside here and then uh, it's going to be inside here and then the other is going to be outside all right so guys uh once you're here uh i've removed the uh the horse which goes here to here and then uh, what happens guys is uh this is the balls i was talking about right there inside there that's the ball we need to uh take it out but we have to take this out so also guys, uh, in this housing thing, we have uh, one ball right down there. I don't know if you can see, there's one ball down there, which uh, the tensioner, uh, the belt tensioner is uh, blocking. So we have to uh, remove this uh, ball tensioner too, to get out of the way, to get access to that one ball. And then once that is done guys, uh, we're good to set and this bad boy is gonna be out in a moment. Okay, once you do that, uh, you lock the thing so it gives you access to remove uh, the tensioner from here and from uh, right down there. guys should be here so these are the two balls and this is the lock which locks on the tensioner so once this is lock is up so we have to pull it out and it should be about the other way so guys uh this is the ball i was talking to you about the one down there this is the ball which was just behind this is the last ball for the housing so the housing up like one 
two, three, four, five, six. It has like six balls uh, to it. So our next guy to remove is to remove this uh, thermostat. And then once the thermostat out of the way, we can remove the oil housing uh, just uh, straight up. We take out the four or uh, the five balls. One, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six. On the one up here, and it should be able to come out. Okay, stay with me. So guys, uh, I removed the uh, thermostat and as I'm right the way I was telling you guys this a uh, seal is crazy is is done so I think I'm gonna need a new seal so guys I don't recommend this putting back this one a seal is gone yeah so we need a new one so how to put that on the list too so guys here we are so we remove the uh, six bolts So guys, they are, they are long balls and short balls, so make sure you pay attention to the size of the ball. So this one is going to be number one. So this one right here, the one in the middle guys is shorter. So you just pull it aside, just level them well. So, uh, So it's longer, uh, so I have to put it aside, it's longer, uh, okay, inside that one, and, uh, we have right here, so it's longer, it's uh, similar to the other one we just removed right now. shortest of all so it's next to the one which is uh, shortest next to the one which is a uh, lower there so uh, let's take the last one so, uh, let's get the last one let's see the size of this okay this is longer uh, so this should be the that was the end of it and just like that guys, uh, we're good to go. We just need to pry it, just pry it gently. So we look for a, so I look for a primer and then just make sure it holds somewhere like here. And then just go. Get out of the way. So once that is out guys, you can clean that. So this is how it looks like. So this is the seal needs to change. Uh, right here guys, if you pay attention, this thing is already gone. So we need to clean this area. We just need to clean it well. And then once we do that, then we open this up. And then, uh, so guys, I'm going to change this too. So I'm going to open uh, these four uh, screws right here. And then once that is done, I replace that one. And then I clean the area. And then I put it back. And uh, it should be good to go.